Hello, John here from Churches Alive Online. This tutorial talks you through the calendar component. So this is what it looks like at the front end. At the back end it looks like this. You just go on to Components and Control Panel for Cagenda, or normally I just click on Events here. Okay, so it's all controlled and it's also fairly straightforward. Okay, so we've got events here which have been created. This Advent Meditation event is a one-off event here and these are repeated events. They're actually set up in the same way. Now, all you need to do if you want to create um, additional Sunday morning services is you go in and you edit this existing event. Okay. I'm assuming that there just sometimes are changes in the pattern of services. So I have not set up a repeated event. You could just type that in here. You could type in Sunday and then you could put in when it starts, when it finishes, and it would carry on forever. But nearly every church has some differences in their pattern at some point. So the way that we normally set up is single dates here. So to add another date, this one, as you can see at the moment, it goes up to uh, December the 27th, 2015. So to add a new one in going into the new year, I just click on here and click on Sunday the 3rd of January 2016. Click for the time, click validate. And now if I save and close that, that is now added to my calendar. So this is my standard event, my standard Sunday service, which I'm using all the time. I can edit the description here, and that's just going to continue on through. And all I need to do is just to add single dates onto my date list to continue that through the year. OK, so if there are separate individual new services that are set up, I need to create those like special events, like this Advent Meditation. That is a one-off event. And I'm going to show you now how to create a one-off event. For example, you might want a Advent Carol service. So I'm actually going to do the image first. I clicked on New, you'll have noticed. New Event. And this screen comes up. And now I'm going to select an image. In your website you have a folder called Church Picks. So I'm going to look in there and I'm going to find a picture of a candle. I'll do for my carol service because we're going to light candles in the service. I click on insert and it's going to be advent carol service. Now the short description, I can put anything I want. Short service of carols and candles and the date is just put in. In single dates, as noticed before, the date goes in. That's going to be on December. That's going to be on a Friday night at 11 o'clock. Sorry, Friday the 11th, not at 11 o'clock. And that's going to be at 7 p.m. Click validate. You can add further descriptions in. You can even add in venues on your maps, for example. I'll let, it let you explore that for yourself. Click on save and close. Now it's saying that's an invalid form because I've not put in a category. OK, all I need to do here is select the category services. Most of your calendar is only going to have one category anyway, but it won't let you save it unless you've chosen the category for the services. Save and close. Go back to the front end and refresh. That's F5 on most of your keyboards. And if I have a little look down, scroll down, there's a new event, Advent Carol Service, created. OK, so that's basically how to add events and how to edit existing events through the calendar. If you had a service and you wanted to delete an event, one of the dates, again, you just go back onto dates. And as you can see, there's a delete button next to that specific date. And then you could create a, a different event at that same time if you so wished. And all that will automatically feed in to all the different views of your calendar. Uh, it will appear down in the website footer at the front page, down here, 
and it will appear in the coming up section here. It's all uh, controlled from that little event that you've just created.